Hey guys, it's Josh here. Today we're going to be doing an overview of a piece of software I've been using over the past year that makes this YouTube channel possible, and that's NordVPN. VPNs are a necessary software to enable me to be able to get onto YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and all these places while I'm behind the Great Wall here in China. So today I'm going to be doing an unbiased review, followed by an overview of my installation process both on a computer and on a mobile device. Hopefully this will help you figure out whether or not this type of software is right for you. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and skip ahead using the time markers you see here. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to start off by telling you what I like and don't like about NordVPN. The features that I really like are the number of servers. They have over a thousand servers in 57 countries. They offer six simultaneous connections at one time, which means that you can connect your phone, your iPad, your computer, your wife's phone, your kid's iPad, all at the same time. Most VPNs only allow for three simultaneous connections. I've seen some with five. Six is definitely above average. They offer an automatic kill switch. They allow peer-to-peer -peer sharing, they have unlimited bandwidth, and they accept all major credit cards, PayPal, and Bitcoin. But one of my favorite features here is that they are one of the few VPNs that offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, which means that you can give them a try, you can if you know get a good feel for the software, and if you don't like it after 30 days, they will give you a 30-day, no questions asked refund. What I don't really like about NordVPN, and I have shared this with them in the past, is that when you can connect to a server, you can connect to a specific country, but they don't drill down to cities. So in other words, in a lot of VPNs, I can say, I want to choose Chicago, or I want to connect to the LA server. But with NordVPN, the software only allows you to say, I want to connect to USA. All right, now that we've had a chance to talk through the pros and cons of using NordVPN, let's do an installation setup where you can see me put this on my computer and mobile device. I'm here in my browser. I'm going to go to nordvpn.com, which is going to direct me to their homepage. Now here, I'm going to click on Get NordVPN, and that's going to bring me to a page that shows their different plans. They offer a one-month plan, a six-month plan, and even a one-year plan. Obviously, you're going to get the most savings from a one-year plan, but since I'm just doing this for the sake of a review, I already already have um, a, an account with them. So I'm going to create a new account with a one month plan. And so I'm going to use the uh, creating a secure account. I'm going to give them um, a my email address and create a password here. Now they allow me to pay with credit card, PayPal, Bitcoin, and this other. This other is very interesting to me, especially here in China where Alipay and WeChat are very popular. They offer a lot of different options from around the world to make payment. Now for me personally, it's easiest just to use PayPal, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on um, Pay Now and it's going to redirect me to the PayPal site and log me in so that I can pay. Now here I am on PayPal and they are telling me that I have a number of different ways that I can pay for this. I'm going to continue and pay with my uh, credit card um, and so I will agree and continue and make that payment to NordVPN. Okay, and I have successfully paid for and signed up for NordVPN. I can do the welcome guide. I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. That's going to be the easiest way to go ahead and do this. It's going to download the NordVPN software, which isn't very large, but I'm going to click again on download now, and hopefully, there we go, it's going to be downloading on the bottom left of my browser here. And since I am on a Mac, once this finishes downloading, I'm going to open it up and then slide over that application into the applications folder. Okay, now that I have downloaded that, I am going to open up NordVPN software, and it will allow me to open, and I am going to log in. Now I'm going to log in using that, what are we doing? Oh, introducing CyberSec. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and log in using my email address and the password that I created, and then... Um, click on login. Now that I have that, I am connected. Now you can see in this software, they offer me the ability to um, just connect to any country. Now remember what I said before, one of the cons of this software is that I can connect to the United States, but I don't have the option to connect to any particular city in the United States. I can connect to, you know, let's say France, but I can't connect to um, Paris versus any other city that they might have a server in. So in most cases, that doesn't really matter. For me, it I would prefer to have the option 
option to choose cities here in the US, but it doesn't matter that much. Now let's go ahead and look here in the uh, settings. I've got this CyberSec, which um, it avoids ads. So it's basically an ad blocker and protects your security from malware. I could tell this software to connect on start and I could connect a kill switch. Now this is what's great is that you have advanced settings. They're not gonna throw too much at you unless you really want to know it. Now in the advanced settings, I can um, choose how I want the app to show up and then I can even choose the protocol. They only offer two protocols, the TCP and the UDP. It's best to just keep it on the UDP if you want. And then you can enable custom DNS if that's what you wanna do, but I recommend you avoid that unless you know what you're doing. So those are your options. If you look at the server list, they do offer a lot of different countries and you can choose those countries however you like, or you can just go over here and say that you wanna to connect to, let's say England, or I wanna to connect to um, France. So it's going to show me now, like I said, there are a number of different servers that are in France. I don't know where those servers are, but I can connect to any one of those and click on that and it will connect me to that server. And here we go. I am connected to the France number 12 server. It was really pretty easy. Um, and I can move and change those around. The map is, is very simple to use and it's, you know, it's a very well designed app, very intuitive to use. So now I'm going to install NordVPN on my Apple iPhone. I'm gonna go into the App Store and search for NordVPN. Now once that shows up, I will click on the download icon and it should be a very small app and so I will, it shouldn't take too long for that to download. Okay, now that that's finished downloading, I'm gonna open up the NordVPN app and it's going to ask me if I'd like to do notifications. I generally don't like doing that with any of my apps unless it's a mail app. And here I am, I'm gonna go ahead, it allows me to try it for free, but since I have already um, signed in, I'm going to sign in here, and I'm gonna put in my account. All right, now that I've signed in, I have the option to quick connect, which would connect me probably to the US. I can look here at the map. If you notice, it's the same map here on the app that they had on the, on the uh, computer um, software. Or I can list out what I want uh, the different app uh, servers that are available. Now I can also do it by if I wanted to do peer-to-peer -peer or dedicated IP servers or specialty servers, basically. But let's just say that I wanted to connect to uh, France again. So I'm going to click that power button and they're going to need to install a VPN configuration file. So I'll click allow and that's going to bring me into my settings app where it's going to say I have to just give it permission to create this VPN configuration. And once they do that, they will be connecting to the VPN through my their France server. Now I can favorite different servers if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. Let's look and see here what kind of uh, options for my settings. I can do a kill switch, which means that it'll disconnect from the internet. If my connection with the server is lost, it'll make sure that you don't uh, ever find yourself without the VPN. Um, but really besides that, there's not too much that um, I have to worry about on the app. They don't have all of the settings that they offer on the uh, on the computer software, which is fine. I mean, really, with something like a phone, all you really want to do is connect and be done with it.